In this video, I am going to show you how you can create sticky social media icons using Elementor without any plugin and without using any CSS code. So if you are interested in learning, then without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to your website and open your main page or the header template or the footer template using elementor so if you want to display this on the entire web website you can open the header template or the footer template so let me just open the footer template here you can see my footer template is opened from here what you want to do is to search for social icons widget search for social icon widgets and drop it anywhere in your footer you can add as many social media links as you want so let's just add uh, one more social media link that is going to be the LinkedIn. And now from here, what you want to do is to go to the advanced tab and in the advanced tab where it says positioning, change the positioning to fixed. Once you will change the positioning to fixed, you can see this is how it will look. And then from here, you want to align it horizontally towards the right side. Now you can see it doesn't apply here just because the width is full 100%. You want to change the width to custom and change it to only 5%. And once you will make it 5%, you can see this is how it is looking. You will have to adjust the width to see whichever values will work best for you. And here you will see this option under the position where it says offset change the alignment towards the right side you'll have to fix the alignment once again because sometimes you see this glitch with elementor so here change the value to 10 i changed the value to 10 and here where it says vertical orientation you have this position change it to percentage and change the value to 50 percent or you can change it to 40 percent you can once again adjust their positioning by dragging this uh, element in here all right i changed back the value to zero and now it is looking just fine now just give it a background color so go to the background and then go to the background type change the color so in order to change the color i want to give it a solid black color now for the social media icon i want to go to the style tab and then i want to click on this custom so for the primary color i want to have a transparent color and then for the secondary color we want to have the white color then you can adjust the size of your social media icons any ways that you want then you can just remove any padding or you can have very small padding between the element you can then adjust the spacing between the elements and then you can adjust the row gap to increase the spacing between these social media icons so now it is looking just like this now we actually want to add some border radius so go to the advanced tabs and go to the border first of all we want to unlink unlink the corners so click here and now we want to have the border radius on the top and the right uh, on the top and the left side and here you can see this is how it looks you can simply adjust these values and then you can go to the layout tab and you can add some padding on the top and on the bottom on the bottom to give it more sleek look so here you can see this is how it looks now here you can see it is actually stretching it so we need to adjust the width so reduce the width to three percent and now here you can see this is how it looks and it will always stay sticky on this right side of your screen and you can always insert your social media links inside here for that you will have to go to content then you will have to go to facebook and then you can here insert the url of your social media pages now the last thing you have the control over where you want to display this horizontal positioning so in order to do that whether you want to hide this effect on 
uh, tablet devices you can go to responsive options here and then you can hide on tablet portrait and mobile portrait and by doing that these social media icons will remain hidden on mobile and tablet portraits i hope that you find this video useful if you find this video useful hit the like button be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video